If you've been hearing a cracking or creaking sound from the front of your bike, sounding something like this. It's time to service your headset. The tools you'll need to do this job are marine grease, or your choice of bike grease, a rag, cable cutters if you have a zip tie holding in your cable, a Torx tool for your stem, and then a four, five, and then a 2.5 millimeter multi-tool or Allen key set. You don't need a bike stamp for this job, but having one will make it much easier. So the first thing I'm gonna do is remove the front wheel. I have a through axle, so it's much simpler than a quick release. Now I'm gonna use my five millimeter and take off my caliper. Make sure you don't lose the bolt in the washer. So now I'm gonna remove this little guide that holds the cable in place. The, mine is a 2.5 millimeter, but some are actually a zip tie that just holds it on. So just remove this. You don't have to remove it completely. Now I'm going to remove the stem. So you'll need a pressure sure to five millimeter to remove the pinch bolts. Yep. Five. And then you just loosen them, not all the way. Then you want to remove the top cap with your four millimeter. Sometimes it might drop right when you take off this little bolt that holds everything together. But since mine hasn't been serviced in a while, it's holding in place. So I'm gonna put my top cap somewhere where I won't get it lost. I'm gonna remove the handlebar. Then I'm going to drop it gently. Try not to scratch your extensions. I'm gonna take off my spacers. And then I have the fork. And you can just let your handlebar dangle like this. You can just let it dangle. And now you have the fork. So now if yours is creaking really bad, it might not have enough grease and there might be dirt everywhere. So I'm just gonna clean that off my rag. Now that the fork is removed, you can give everything a wipe down and inspect the bearings and seals to see if they need to be replaced. So now after everything is clean, you want to reinstall everything. So now that everything is clean, you can use your marine grease or bike grease and reinstall the headset. I'm just gonna use a little bit of grease for the cups. A little goes a long way, so you don't need a bunch. If you put too much, it'll attract grease. Okay. So now, you wanna insert your bearings. A way to remember is that top is always going to be uh, smaller than the bottom so I'm just going to put a little grease on here 
you put grease in so that the headset doesn't get all rusty and water doesn't get in. So I'm just gonna put it on the top. Put it in the bottom. And then this bottom, I'm gonna put it on the fork like that. And then you're gonna put on this, it has a little slit. You just wanna grease. the sides and then the center not too much and then I'm just gonna put some grease to finish it off inside of this the seal with this top cap piece just put it on now you want to put some of your grease on the steer tube. I'm just gonna put a little bit all around it. Now you wanna get your pieces together. So I'm gonna bring my handlebar up, make sure all the cables are in line. So put your fork up. All this stuff is gonna move, so try to put some pressure on it. Then you grab your top cap with the bolt. You drop it on. And that should be good. Now we go ahead and tighten down everything. You want to tighten down your top cap. This preloads everything and make sure it's all stuck together. So this is my four millimeter. I'm just going to do it snug right now. So now I'm going to put my fork I'm gonna put my brake back in place. I'm gonna use my 2.5 millimeter Allen to tighten down this. Now I am slightly tightening the, my bolts down so that the caliper can freely move so that then we can put the wheel back on. At this step we put the wheel back on. Make sure your rotor and caliper are nice and clean. This step can be slightly tricky since the caliper doesn't stay in one place. Just make sure that you take your time and try not bending the rotor. After putting the wheel on, we can align the rotor and caliper. An easy way to do this is by squeezing the brake lever firmly, then tightening the two caliper bolts. Now it is time to adjust your preload or top cap bolt. Holding the front brake, you can rock the bike back and forth and putting your hand on the headset to check for play. If you feel some movement, tighten the 4mm bolt. Lift the front wheel and move the handlebars. If the handlebars feel hard to move, loosen the bolt. After playing around with the bolt, you will eventually find the correct torque. If you found this video helpful, hit the like button and subscribe. Thanks for watching.